Sunday morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm Coach Ingrid Hughes, the CEO and founder of Team Life Changers, where we change lives every single day, starting with our own. You all know I come to you every Friday morning that the Lord allows between 7 a.m. and 7.15 a.m. Eastern Time with a little series I like to call What I Learned This Week. Good morning, Trey. It's so good to see you here every week. What I learned this week is, are you defining your worth correctly? How are you defining your self-worth? Hey, Ingrid, what's with all the questions so early in the morning? <laughs> I hear you. Seriously, though, have you ever given any thought to how you have the how you have been defining your worth? Let me tell you something. Your worth is not defined by what you've accomplished or haven't accomplished. Your worth can't be earned like a paycheck, nor is it gifted to you in an inheritance. It's not a reward given after you've unlocked the next level like a video game. Your worth is not connected to your race, your weight, your gender, or even your pedigree. Good morning, Marty. So good to see you this morning live, dear. It cannot be given nor taken away from you, even though often our feelings of self-worth may feel that way. Every single one of us is born with an equal amount of worth. Some of us just actively work more on our feelings of self-worth than others. How? Well, I read a quote this week that said, the most important love in the world is the one you show yourself no matter what's happening in your life. Wowzers. Do you show yourself love through every stage of life's journey? Or do you only show yourself love when things are going well? Here's this week's call to action. Now I want you to be honest with yourself when you answer that question. All right, here's this week's call to action. Practice self-love. In the book, Progress Over Perfection by author Emma Norris, she says a few tips that I want to share with you to do just that. The first one, work on self-worth by practicing kindness and compassion toward you, even when you mess up. Next, give yourself permission to feel all of the feelings you feel when things go wrong. You're allowed to feel sadness, anger, frustration, or whatever emotion and feelings that you have, because your feelings are always valid. Next, be mindful of how you speak to yourself. You all know, if you follow me any, with any regularity, I always talk about the power of your self-talk because self-talk is so powerful. Listen, failing doesn't make you a failure. Not knowing something doesn't make you stupid. Being, imperf it, being imperfect doesn't make you less than. These things make you human. <laughs> It's also important to practice self-love when things are going well. It's okay to give yourself a pat on the back for a job well done without being prideful. Women are especially guilty of downplaying achievements and even chalking it up to luck or a fluke. Stop that. Hard work leaves clues and it's okay to be pleased by it. Lastly, ditch that all or nothing mindset. I see this a lot with my health and fitness clients. If they can't implement every single one of their health goals all at once, they feel like they failed and they go off the rails. So I teach them to baby step it by implementing one healthy or positive habit at a time. Like for example, week one, just implement drinking more water. The following week, start implementing drinking your superfood shake daily. And then the following week, implement either the workout program we paired you with or the nutrition course we've paired you with, and so on. You get the idea. Consistency doesn't mean perfection. And baby steps are still moving forward, even if it's a little slower than you had anticipated. Now that you're equipped with all of the steps, or well, some of the steps, that I, I'll ask you again. Are you defining your self-worth correctly? If not, comment below what you're going to do to fix it. Now, for those of you who have accepted the mission a few months ago of the Grateful Journal, comment below, how's that going? Is that working for you? God loves you and so do I. Have a blessed and healthy day. 
week and rest of this month. Bye now.